Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a beef and chopped tomato soup. We're going to do it all in a blender and show you how it's done. Simple, easy meal, lovely on these lovely cold winter days. Hi there. Now, always economy conscious, Al and I. So yesterday we made some, uh, some beef shin in here and we cooked it off. Now I know I've used this slow cooker and the recipe is out there for you to have a look at how we arrived at this concoction in here. You could cook it in an ordinary oven or in the halogen oven, but it's a slow cooked piece of meat. So it takes ages and it's tenderized and it's lovely. And this was left over. So basically there's some shin beef in there, which is the cheapest cut of meat you can have. Loads of vegetables, seasoning, and it's been cooked. I'm going to add my tin of tomatoes, mix it in. And then the key to this then is to try and get it transferred into our blender but you only half fill the blender make sure the lid's on before you go half fill it liquidize it down pop it into a saucepan okay so it's in there it's half full the reason we only half fill it up is it expands just pulse it for a little bit because you've got big chunks of, of um, vegetables and meat in there so you don't want to ruin your blade then the reason we pop it in the saucepan is we do the batches then mix it all together otherwise you might find you've got more tomato in one bit or more beef so that way on you are mixing it all and it'll be the same consistency so i'm going to pulse it all please make sure the lid's on and then i'm just going to let that in number one is enough that's looking good that's ready now to take out and pop in the saucepan. So now we've blended off all of the bulk. It's in here, I'm going to mix it around. As I said, I'm mixing it up so you don't get more of a certain flavour in one portion of the, of the soup. You can use this as well. I mean, another idea, another trick is to have containers like this. Pop it in the freezer. Don't fill it up, it will expand. It's a liquid, so just fill it to about here. And it would be for base for a bolognese sauce or a gravy or something like that. So you can use it for all sorts of things. It's going to be really tasty and a really cheap way of doing it. I'm actually going to freeze this down for a soup later in the week. Again, don't overfill your container. Pop the lid on. I did this as soon as I could once the, once the uh, meat had cooled down. So it needed to be cool to go in the blender, otherwise you're going to end up cracking your blender. So be careful there. Um, but do it as soon as you can. You don't want the meat hanging around for ages in the pot in the, in the um, fridge. So there you are. That's how to make beef and tomato soup from the leftovers, really, that we had from our meal the other day. Shin beef, fantastic cut, really cheap and easy to do. So, hope you enjoy. All our videos, you know where to go. Use your space. Derriton33.co.uk Hundreds more cooking videos and stuff on there. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.